It, it should be considered like a stall plane because you can get lift on this thing. That was probably the smoothest That's landing, the best landing we've had. seen Whoa. yet. Wow, we were doing a wipeout. Let's go again. <laughs> Look at that tail wheel up. I saw that. Nice, that. Wow. Full throttle. It's a fast airplane. It's a really fast airplane. That was a very full throttle wheel touch and go. You did not mean to do that, did you? I don't think so, no. I mean, yes, yes no, I did. No, you didn't. It was so cool. <laughs> I've always said I really like airplanes that feel like you're getting two planes for the price of one. And since the maiden video and maiden flights of the RV7 on our channel, I've told you guys this really does feel like you're getting two airplanes in one. It flies on 3S and 4S and it flies so differently on both sizes of batteries. Abby has been having a blast flying this on 3S and we just so happen to have one extra 4S battery charged. She said she would like for me to fly it on 4S so we're gonna get one short 4S flight in today with me flying the RV7. We just can't get enough of this airplane. It's extremely well-rounded. It has safe technology, smart technology, so much technology packed into and it. Lights. It has lights, it has flaps, it's just super fun to fly. So let's put this battery in and have some fun. Now guys, knowing me and the way I've been flying this plane, it's gonna be a really short flight, but before we take off, I need you to smash the like button just to let YouTube know that you actually like family-friendly content that's RC related, so YouTube will let people know about it. Are you ready, Abby? Oh, are you taking off that way? Sure. Ready. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Flaps, half flaps, tape is off. Tails up, there we go. That was a nice takeoff. Flaps are up. And you know what? I thought safe was off, but it's on. That's why that was such a beautiful takeoff. <laughs> there, safe is off, and let's give it a roll. Now, Abby, you were saying you thought it rolled a little bit slow. Yeah, yours looked beautiful, though. <laughs> but that's 4S, so I really do want you to okay. fly this on 4S really, really, really Fair soon. Fair Because you can do some nice, fast rolls. I see like that. that. We'll go Man. left on that roll and right into a bank. Hey, <laughs> what's the secret? It's just super fun. It's just super fun. That's all. <laughs> That's just not the secret. You just gotta have fun. With yeah. It. The airplane will let you do whatever you want as long as you really are having fun. Like that <laughs> is super fun. <laughs> and you know a little bit about what you're doing. I don't know. I just kind of move the sticks around and see what happens. <laughs> I think it'll knife edge. I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, safe. Oh, safe, oh. safe, 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 safe. Thank you. So what happened there was I lost scary. orientation. I couldn't tell if I was knife edging or going out of the bank. I, I don't know what happened. So you know what? I reached up and boom, safe. Just saved my RV7. Even somebody that flies literally hundreds of airplanes uses safe to save their planes. Let's go to a climb. Three, two, one. Full throttle climb. We can do a hammerhead. Uh, there it is. Just had to wait for it to kick in. And let's do some Cubanade action, yeah? It'll be a short flight because we're flying full throttle a lot, but not the whole time. Is that low enough on the Cubanade? No. No? Okay, let's do it a little closer and a little lower. <laughs> Are you not, just messing with me? Maybe, we'll oh. see. We'll see what happens. Okay, well, let's do it on this pass. We'll do a nice Cubanade out here. Or we've got just a little bit more room. Uh, you know what? That's not close enough, is it? Nope. Let's get it in here. Okay, here we go. That's closer. That's good. And roll out of that. We'll go into this side mm -hmm. of it. That was, that was better. And we'll go that way. Let's do another one. Let's just keep it going. We'll do two cubanates in a row. We'll roll out of it the other way. And go, go, go into a snap. We'll kind of go. Yeah, just some weird stuff. <laughs> it was not a snap. <laughs> it was not a snap, but it was fun. You know what? The battery placement on this airplane is really awesome. It's uh, got Velcro. There's just like tons of room. I feel like you could fly like an 8,000 milliamp battery in here if you really wanted to. There's tons of room inside the airplane. You know, I don't like airplanes where you got to like really finagle the battery in there to the point where uh, you just you can't even fit your finger in there to mess with the Velcro. That is not the case with this airplane, so that's super cool. The lights are very bright on this overcast kind of cloudy day. What a perfect day to fly. I mean, it is just a perfect day to fly. Let's do a full throttle pass. I'll go safe on, so we can try to get low to the ground. Full throttle. It's a fast airplane. It's a really fast airplane on 4S. It just wakes right up. And, and I like flying it on 4S for that reason. Oh, oh, that was a very full throttle wheel touch and go. You did not mean to do that, did you? I don't think so, no. I mean, yes, yes no, I did. No, you didn't. It was so cool. <laughs> 
I thought it was gonna cartwheel. That was so fast. Ooh, nice tip. Thanks. You wanna do that again on this next pass? I like the tip. You are pushing up. it. Yeah, sure, but it's fun, right? Yeah. That looks pretty good. That's and how you get the good. Off. That's how they get the good photos. You tip it as it goes there by. We go. That was nice. And that was my telemetry alarm telling me that hey, you're pushing your battery a little too hard, a little too fast. <laughs> uh, no. And what I haven't even done on this Nate. whole flight yet, I haven't even really had as much fun as I was hoping to. But let's just go full flaps. I thought that was throttle. the secret. Uh, <laughs> just have as much fun as you possibly can. <laughs> full flaps is pretty nice on this. Slows it right down. Looks super scale. Really cool airplane, you guys. Just a very scale airplane. You don't want to go too nuts with it because you, you know you could you could wingtip. So I don't know. I'm just oh, okay. having fun. Wasn't sure. Ready. We'll do a touch and go. A good one. A meaningful uh, one. Bounce and go is what I meant. Yeah, that was definitely a bounce and go. Ah. Better than I. You know could what do. though? This airplane so far on asphalt. What I'm learning. What I'm experiencing. It's just kind of bouncy and it's, so, it's because it's such a floaty airplane you can get lift it, it should be considered like a stall plane because you can get lift on this thing that was probably the smoothest That's landing, the best landing we've had. seen Whoa. yet wow we were doing a wipe out let's go again <laughs> look at that tail wheel up. i saw nice, that wow i like that <laughs> that tail wheel lifts up pretty quick on this airplane for such a small one and then you can ride it out on two wheels so that's really cool let's do another full throttle pass safe's off we'll just kind of go into a roll Oh, I was and not let's prepared go for up that. Into a snap roll, an actual snap roll this time. And there's our low battery alarm. Ugh. I'll just kick safe on and see what it does. There you go. That was nice. Ugh. Notifications. We have cell service and right here in this one spot. Silence, Nathan. I should have. <laughs> no, mine's not either. <laughs> You're just more popular than I me. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's actually, it's probably a patron texting me. So if you guys nice. didn't know, we do have a patron tier where you can text me about RCs or it's pretty cool. a joke and say your favorite cereal or something. And some people uh, enjoy really, you know, texting a lot throughout the day and some others just save it for special occasions. Uh, but that's fine either way. I really enjoy the conversations and getting to know some of our viewers. That'll be linked in the description box. Yeah. Are you landing? I don't know. I'm just having fun. My alarm isn't going off on uh, low throttle passes, so I'm just going to keep enjoying this. I'm actually getting a much longer flight time than I thought I would. The last time I flew a 4S battery on this, I got about a five and a half minute flight. Now I'm up to nine minutes no nine, you no, didn't, reset didn't reset it. the timer from your flight the last one. <laughs> it's like you are not at nine minutes sir there's that alarm again you are done okay we're done we'll bring it in you're uh, gonna kill go, your battery look at half flaps well no i'm not killing it because they're at zero throttle and half throttle i okay. am not the alarm is not going off so all is good <laughs> now if the alarm is going off at about half thr throttle you definitely want to land i've used way too much runway for this airplane and zero throttle right there. Just get a little bounce on this every time. It's a cute little hop. Yeah. The RV7, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like it should be able to take a bow. Doing the flaps, full flaps, no flaps, full flaps, no flaps. That is the RV7 taking a bow, everybody. It's a beautiful little Can't airplane. even see the flaps right now. No, here, there you go. There you go. Ah, there you go. Take a bow, little guy. Take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> The best way I can describe this plane is two planes in one, and it's just a nice scale slash sporty airplane. So if you're looking for something that feels lightweight in the air, but still powerful enough to fly in some wind, and you've got 3S docile, smooth, gentle flying, scale flying, if you want to say it that way, you can still do rolls and loops when you're doing that, but probably no vertical climbs like I did on 4S. And then switch over to a 4S battery and you can do vertical climbs, you can do some crazy snap rolls. You saw how much this thing twists in the air with just, uh, I, I would say like an intermediate pilot at the sticks. Nice uh, inverted fly. Are you calling yourself an intermediate pilot? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Try again. I'm a uh, the beginner. <laughs> Try I'm, again. I'm nowhere above intermediate. <laughs> Thanks for the kind words, but no. So what am I? Intermediate also. <laughs> Intermediate dumb. has this really big zone, right? <laughs> Nobody, there's like 5% of all RC pilots are up there at pro. I mean, most of us are intermediate and a lot of beginners too. Mm, you, know. you gotta have four levels. There's advanced and then pro. You're forgetting about that. I'm not that. advanced. I don't know what I am. <laughs> but this is a super fun airplane to fly. Had a blast with it. I always enjoy flying it. Abby and I have just been back and forth on this thing. Back and forth. You're 
you can fly 4S if you want to, but you enjoy flying at 3S, just nice and calm and docile. And I like to put a 4S battery in, kind of wake it up a little bit, push it really low to the ground so low the full throttle those wheels touched. That's all right. The more you damage this plane, the more I'll fly it. There, okay, good. <laughs> You're awful, but that's a cool airplane. We'll have a link in the description box below. Guys, I, I say this, but I want to just constantly remind you because it really kind of keeps us going. Our patron support keeps us going, but also this is linked in the description box. If watching this video gave you any level of enjoyment, entertainment, or you decided to buy this R plane or any RC plane because of us. Did you call it an R plane? RC plane. I heard R plane. <laughs> Uh, if you've made that decision because of us, please consider using our links. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of people that watch our videos and then go down to the local hobby shop and they buy the plane at the local hobby shop, and that's great. But if if the local hobby shop helped you choose that plane to buy, but if, if we jumped in front of the camera and said it in any way, or maybe replied to you in a comment and helped you, please use our links. Even if you're not buying this airplane and there's something that you want to buy, on their website. You need another battery, you need a new charger, another airplane, props, or whatever. Please consider using our link to buy whatever you need to buy because it really does help keep us going. And that's, you know, we could occasionally get in front of the camera and make some content, but the amount of content that we make that's family friendly and has been for almost a decade, it's because of your support that we've been able to do that. So thank you very much. And I just wanted to kind of like re explain. Do that with other YouTubers too. If there's someone else that you like watching more than us, support them too. If your hobby shop helps you more than we help you, sure, help the hobby shop. There's a time and a place for that, but I can't tell you how many times a person's been at a hobby shop and they said, I pulled up your video and made the decision to buy this airplane based on your video. Well, you know, and they probably skipped the ads while they were in there too, so I don't, that's uh, okay. But thank you guys for all the support. And this is a really awesome airplane. I'm happy to see this on the market. I think we need more airplanes like this. So. Uh, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Big thanks to God for giving us a nice break in the weather to come out and fly today and share this hobby and this experience with you guys. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because you guys don't only just use those links to help support us, you directly give us money that is hard earned, which really tells us how much you appreciate our content. So thank you guys so much. It is truly what keeps us going. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have Abby's maiden flight of this RV7 popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.